despite being pushed nine wide at the home turn. He joins Elite Company. The last to win the double was Leilani in 1974, before her Galilee in 66. But first, let's check early results. And the opening race on the program was won by the odds-on Kenny Ladd, who made it two in a row after uh, overcoming difficulties at the home turn. A good effort. The second went to Counterfeit, which is Bonecrusher's younger brother, and he's been set for the VRC derby. The third and True Label got the money, first of a double for Michael Clark and Colin Hayes, winning at 7-2. The Blinkers were put back on Lonely Dreamer and he scored a narrow win at nines over Prismatic Star and Northern Copy a big run for third. Now the Caulfield Cup. They're set to go. The light is on. Racing. Nairizi not the best to move down on the inside. Research stirring away well. So was Citizen Dr. Grace. Mr. Dynamite dropping for a trail. The Phantom across quickly superimposed, diving for the rails behind them. Hunter was away okay, and so too Chigaro. An ideal sentiment out very wide when they charge down the straight the first time now. Chigaro and ideal sentiment reach the post for the first time together, leading the Phantom and Nairizi. Terrific out wide, Cosine deep behind him. And on the rails then is Stirring and Research, followed by Mr. Dynamite. Then Hunter out three wide, Citizen in the centre. Dr. Grace four wide going up towards the leaders. Two lengths to Power of Destiny, followed then by Cole Diesel. Apollo runs got back to fourth last from superimposed Coulds and Palace Revolt was last of all. So up in the leading division now, and we've got nearly a line of three here uh, with about 1,600 metres to go. And Cosine worked to the lead from Chigaro and Terrific. Dr. Grace out there three wide, a length back. Nairizi the rails from Ideal Settiman. Then about a length and a quarter further back is the Phantom Stir the rails and two lengths away in the field then hunter outside research then on the rails is mr dynamite he's about the middle of the field behind him then is citizen being followed by power of destiny outside cole diesel one away to Apollo run, and then came so further back in the field, superimposed. He's third last, followed by Coulds and Palace Revolt last of all. Would be at least 15 at lengths from the leader. So they race up now, 1,000 metres to go, and Willie Shoemaker took the three-year-old Dr. Grace to the lead. By a head to co-sign with the rails, a length and a half, terrific Chigaro, and there followed Ideal Sentiment. About a length away to Nairizi. Hunter with his run round the outside. The Phantom going with him, and they were followed then by Research and Power of Destiny. Further back is stirring Cole Diesel out very wide to make his sprint at them. Then Apollo run, Mr. Dynamite superimposed Coulds and Palace Revolt. 500 left to go now. Cosine and Dr. Grace are still the two leaders sweeping up to the turn. Citizens rushed up to them and then Ideal Sentiment. Chikaro just behind the leaders from Power of Destiny and Hunter. Out very wide Apollo run and Cole Diesel the widest when they set sail for home. Cosine led Dr. Grace and Citizen on the outside. Then the Phantom followed by Stirring and look at Cole Diesel coming home now down the outside. The Phantom and Cole Diesel reach the lead now from Apollo run. Fighting back Dr. Grace. It's Cole Diesel on the outside, Nairizi bursting through, but Cole Diesel will win the Caulfield Cup by a long neck to Nairizi, and third is the Phantom just in front of Apollo Run. Then came uh, further back in the field, the finish was Stirring and Cosine, followed in by Dr. Grace, then Coulds and uh, Mr. Dynamite. Further back in the field, Citizen Ideal Sediment, Power of Destiny, followed by Research, Hunter was well back. Chigaro towards the tail end of the field with terrific Palace Revolt and Superimpose. Well, we were confident as you could be in a Caulfield Cup, but uh, if you get too confident, you get too disappointed. So I reserve my judgment till now. I feel good now. Round in the home, home turn when I was uh, possibly three and a half lengths from the leaders, I was very confident because I could feel my horse still hadn't hit his top gear yet. Cole Diesel, who's been heavily backed with all the favourites in the Melbourne Cup, scored at 8-1. to one. He'll now go for a spell. Some very good Melbourne Cup trials turned in by Nairizi and Apollo Run. The sixth event on the program, this was taken out by Shanghai Escapade at 20-1 to one over Salas Opera, which came from a long way back, and Venadu. Second leg of the double, race seven. Acid print don't play waiting for the runs and further back in the field Escape King Heavenly View took the lead at the 200 from Light Show. Here's Acid Print getting a run through now, followed by Rodelvra and better loosen up, diving through to the inside Heavenly View's in front, they've kicked away from Acid Print, uh, don't better loosen up finishing well but uh, Heavenly View's in front as they hit it and Heavenly View won it by a neck better loosen up and third placing to Acid Print on the outside Heavenly View, written by Michael Clark at 10s over Better Loose and may have missed on the big one today, but they made some amends with two winners, one of them in the second leg of the Daily Double, the Richard Alice Handicap.
They straighten up many chances. Light Show is the leader, tackled by Heavenly View. Riddell Bar. Acid Print getting a split in the center. Down the outside, Jet Fighter. And Don't Play is hooked out to make his run. And then Escape King, but Heavenly View has taken the lead with 100 meters to go from Acid Print and Jet Fighter finishing on. But Heavenly Zip View's in front, close to home. And I don't think they'll get it. It's stopping a bit near the line, but Heavenly View will hang on and score. Heavenly View started at 10 to 1 from Better Loosen Up at 20s and Acid Print third at 25 to 1. Unplay's favorite was Don't Play at 7 to 2. With the win of Heavenly View, the new TAB straight six as Jack Potter to next Saturday's Cox Plate meeting. A place getter in last year's Melbourne Cup, Nabotto, was having his first start in Melbourne this campaign in the last race, the Way Welter. John Russell again. On the turn, Noble Club's being uh, tackled by Alternate, who's moved up very quickly, and Wilbur Action is joining in with a strong run. Wide on the track, then Brooklyn Dodger, and here comes our Palliser down the outside. But Alternate has kicked away past the 200 by a length and a half. Wilbur Action, Brooklyn Dodger, and our Palliser. Alternate is nicely clear, coming down to the 100 over two lengths of Wilbur Action, our Palliser. But Alternate will be too good, makes it two in a row. And Alternate has won it nicely by three lengths to Wilbur Action. Alternate, written by Harry White, started at 7-1 to one from Wilbur Action at 12s, with our Palliser, the favourite third, at 11-4. to four. The Daily Double for 15 and 18 paid $74.20. The Quadrella combination of 6, 4, 8 and 1 returned $1,768.25, while the Quad Extra dividend of $30,832.10 was paid on the numbers 15, 11, 18 and 7. the ABC News to now. There'll be a mid-evening bulletin at 25 past 8 and the ABC Radio will have news on the hour. But for now, from me, it's good night.